Hello everyone, today I want to talk about the copper module. Copper module is something really nice because if you want to add something it's apps really super fantastic and easy to do. As an example, what you have to understand is that most of these components are in reality some sort of a bar that you buy and then you bend it, right? So technically, if you want to add like an extra layer here, we have two layers. Let's say we want to add an extra layer. What we do is we just insert one of these bars. So to start with, what we do is we look up the bar that we have. So we have a 60, I believe 10, that's the one we have. And then what we want to do is we want to give it a certain like shape. This is maybe an L shape. And then you can say, okay, let's put a bending radius of 10 millimeters. That's good. And here is my component. So it comes already like prefabricated with a certain shape, like I said. And I will just place it here onto, let's say, this uh, element. Just let's place it there. Boom. And you can see it's now attached right there. Now, the length, of course, is probably not right. As you can see, I have to move it down a little bit and I have to make it a little bit longer. So let's take a look from the side here and we'll recognize it. This is the one we just placed, right? This one here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change very quickly the bending position. So here, when you actually go, you can either move it up or down. So here you can see the green line was turned on. I will just take it and move it exactly to the bending position uh, here, there's already a bend that comes in. I'm going to place it right on top of this one. There. Boom. Now we can see it's right there. I will have to change its length a little bit. So I'm going to choose it. You can see the arrow that pops out. I'm going to start here I'm in design mode from here, and I'm going to stretch it out to the same or similar length as what we have here. So this is now the new component that we just placed in there. The radius here is at 10. That's perfect. And at the top here, I may have to stretch it, also change its length. So same thing, you click, you come and say, okay, I'm gonna take this corner here, match it up with that corner, so we have the same length. And bingo, I just have a new part, a new bended object that will come out in my reports, and it's exactly matching the position that I have. Now. You can, of course, if you want to add some holes, and that will place these holes in there. Um, everything works very easily. So just remember, you're not really drawing something. You're just placing a bar that has 10 by 60 millimeters, and then you're stretching it, or it was pre-bent with one corner. Initially, I, of course, could have started with a complete flat bar bend it by 90 degree because you can create here some additional bending edges you know like you take this guy and you say okay i want to uh, add uh, an angle uh, and it would bend if you need multiple bends uh, it, it's all possible it's it's really easy to do